and welcome to What's for Dinner on Barbecue Day again. It's what? Exotic, neurotic, erotic, barbecue something or something. like that. Right. I'm Ken Costick. <laughs> Had to think about that. Yeah, that's debatable. Yeah. And I'm Mary Jo Eustace Costick, and Ken's absolutely right. We're going to be doing a barbecue oh. show, but we're doing it with a bit of a twist. We're doing some erotic, exotic things. I think so. I'm doing something called a tie me up pesto. Oh, Ooh, baby. That's scary. Yeah, a little I'm bit. doing a crouton salad with some uh, leftover croutons. Oh, hey, your granddad called. And, uh, yeah. He wants his shirt back. <laughs> he needs it. This for bingo. Is, I gotta tell you, this is in fashion. It is so not, in, and you've got it buttoned all the way up to the top. <laughs> oh, gosh, they don't pay me enough. Well, they don't pay me, that's the Pearly, first thing. She, what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing a yeah. crouton salad. Right. And I'm doing a herbed bean salad with lemon. Ooh. Oh, Kenny. Whoa, okay. Take it. So it's salad day here on Wednesday. It What's is for salad dinner. day, and we're barbecuing something. Yes, we're going to barbecue my chicken breast when we get back yeah. from the break on What's for Dinner. We got a lot to do today. Lots to do. Or I got a lot yeah. to do. Welcome back to What's for Dinner, where we're having a barbecue erotic exotic day, and we're very excited. I'm going to do a tie me up pesto with coriander and pine nuts and stuff like that that I'm going to grill some chicken with. And Kenny's doing a bean salad. And uh, what else are you doing, baby? I forgot. Uh, crouton salad. Oh, that's going to be really good. Crouton, and you're going to make some croutons for me. Do you want me. me to get started on the croutons? Can you? We have some, but I'm going to make you a few more because I care about this show. And you know what? In this is a good thing to do with leftover bread. Oh, Ken. Hey, How long did it take you to think of that one? Can I just do something before we start? What? Don't be, don't be touching the, the merch. merch. <laughs> Let's do, ladies, do you join me? Do you support me in this? Let's see what Mr. Costic has to offer, don't you think? You know what? You, on do second I, thought. <laughs> do I need the... Do I need my man's ear? <laughs> you do need a man's ear a little today. You look good, though. I do. You really do. I'm looking at you. A little bloated, but good. For my age... <laughs> I think I look not For bad. For 62, you look <laughs> average. For sure. No, you look great. And me, sir? Uh, yes, you are, sir. <laughs> oh. Okay, if the truth's out, she really is a man. Okay? Don't you think? I'm pregnant, you dimwit. Oh, I'm sorry. I, sh I, I was told not to make fun. Of me. When women are pregnant, because, because they can get violent. They're hormonal. Anything yeah. can happen. Yeah. You can have a real you, change of thinking. In the middle of a segment, you could be sending me out for ice cream. I could in pickles. Yeah. Or a male stripper. Who knows? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to um, make you all sorts of croutons. I'm going to do some olive oil and maybe some nice dried herbs and bake oh. them in the oven. And then I'm going to get started on my time. Yeah, pesto. I'm going to chop up my vegetables. Uh, for my bean salad, and today I'm using here some red kidney beans and some lima beans. But this is a good thing if you uh, want to use whatever you have in your kitchen, by all means. If you're going to use dried beans, soak them the night before. To take at some least, of the toxins out. At least what? 12 hours. 12 hours. There but we canned are. beans are so convenient, don't oh, you think? I man. just give them a rinse with cold water and I throw them <coughs> in salads, stews, soups, pastas. They're delicious. The only thing I like to make sure, because I am concerned about my health and at my age, that I they're need low, to. They're, you should be. They're low <laughs> sodium. Low sodium yeah. and no chemicals. Exactly. So look, read the labels on the cans. Absolutely. Now, can I say something? <laughs> you can only if it's nice about no, me. No, it's totally I, nice. I'm feeling very vulnerable today. A and in that outfit? <laughs> You should. Because the wardrobe lady talked to me and she said, you know... She does not want to credit. No, because you're doing your own wardrobe this year and something's gone terribly wrong. Yeah. Step it up, baby. You've got, like, shower shoes on. <laughs> shower your, shoes? Your neighbor's shorts. My and this is something you see at a garage sale, this shirt. It's not good. It's not a good look it's on you. It's not happening. And no gel in your hair. I need to put some gel in do my hair. Do you not hair. care about your appearance anymore? <laughs> I do. Oh, there's Pearly. What's the problem? Hi, Pearl. Kenny? Well, Usually you know... Usually you're very conscious about I am, that. I am. I am. I'm just thinking so much about my recipes. That's what it is. Really? Yes. That's taking up all your time? No, Pearly. You don't eat people food. I don't feed my dogs any people food. Neither do I. Oh, 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 oh. Neither do I. Gus was here yesterday. He and was. That little porker, <laughs> he was porking out here. He had a good day. Oh, he had a good day. Not such a good night no. at home, but a good day. That's for sure. Were you in trouble when you got home? Yeah, totally. Oh, totally, yeah. yeah. But he had yeah. fun. That's the important thing, you know? Benny's going to the vet today. Is he? Yes, Why? because he was well, pa. Let me walk over. Should I walk over there and show this little picture of Benny? Benny. Look at how cute he is. Kenny. Yes. He's adorable. I know. I know. He's a sweet boy. And his cousins above? 
Gus and Wilbur. Yeah. Yeah. And his aunt to the side. <laughs> Mr. Caustic on the Caribbean cookbook. <coughs> oh, geez. Mm -hmm. Are you going to wear that shirt this year? Yeah. Thanks for the warning. Absolutely. So, anyways, he's going to the vet just to get his pot checked. Oh, yeah, here just pop. Poor thing. And you, I told you he's on thyroid pills the rest of his life. I know. Poor baby. Gus is on thyroid, too. Every day he has to Yeah. Get? Yeah. yeah. And at work. night, too? Yeah, yeah. Same here. Well, you know, what can you do? These things happen. Kids today. Now, this is for your... Bean salad, Your baby. bean salad. And bean. you're using, like, just canned beans, right? I am. Which is a great time saver. I am. I am. Be a nice, fresh thing. Now, this Thai pesto is so quick to do. I mean, I've got coriander, basil, hoisin sauce, which is mm -hmm. a great thing to cook with. Do you use it much when you cook? Never. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Uh, it's sort of like a cross between a soya and tamari, but it's really thick and sweet. So it gives a real flavor burst. And then we've got um, some mixed nuts. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be quite exotic. Oh. And erotic and erotic or whatever this show's about. Oh. I can't remember it. Can you? Can I ask you a personal question? Of course you can. Does your husband think you're sexy? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I th well, you know, I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Your husband's a nice guy. He is a good Dean. guy, isn't he? Yes, he is. I think he finds me attractive sometimes. He says I'm a bit like a guy, though, totally. Pardon yeah, me? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. What about your husband? <laughs> what, is, what does he say? Well, come on. <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> what does he think? He's very he supportive. Thinks, he thinks maybe he could have done a bit better. <laughs> In the wardrobe department. <laughs> He's very supportive. <laughs> oh, and I'm God. not talking hose. <laughs> he has a lot to put up with, no. doesn't he? Yeah, this is, this is a handful. <laughs> This here is a handful. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Now, since we're doing three recipes today, and they can be a bit confusing, yes. if you stay to the end of the show... You see the recipe, it's going to come up, and you can also visit our website, which is www.lifenetworkca. Use that website to write in and say, you know what, I really don't like Mary Jo cutting a little guy off like that. Or, yeah. Good for you. It's good for me. Keeps you humble. <laughs> don't you think? Well, are you the sort of person? I don't okay. share. <laughs> and I, no. I don't share my food. But are you the sort of person who always needs an issue to keep you perky? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> you always need a conflict. There's a problem. And if there isn't a conflict, I make it. You, you invent one, don't you? <laughs> Pretty much. No, I'm an easygoing guy. Am I not? Well, come on, tell the viewers I am. Okay, okay maybe I'm not. <laughs> you're not. I mean, you, you know what? You're complex, obviously. I, Look yeah. at that outfit. You're yeah. complex. There's a lot of things going on there. Or high maintenance. High maintenance. That's a good word. Yeah. Now, I put some olive oil. Stay here because I'm going to bolt to the right. I'm not I'm, leaving. <laughs> I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. And I'm just going to get some dried oregano leaves and some dried basil, and I'm going to put these on our croutons and uh, throw them in the oven. Oh. Does that sound good? Oh. 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 Sounds pretty nice. Okay. You have to do trivia. Yeah, I'm going to do it. But I don't want you to. Well, I'm going to do it. No, please. Yeah. Can, can we not have one day where we don't do it? Oh, stop your whining. <laughs> now, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do you know, Kenny, how dogs sweat? Do you <gasps> know how they sweat? You should know this. Oh, my baby, she doesn't sweat under there. <laughs> Whatever. Do you, there okay. is a certain place where they perspire. Do you know oh. that? Uh, well. Uh, you might. I might. You might. When we get back from the break, I'll Karen wants for dinner. He might possibly answer the trivia question. He's I answered might. like two this year. I'm getting a bit nervous. See you in a Maybe. Maybe. It's true. Whoops. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to What's for Dinner. I'm just going to uh, chop up some, finally, chop up some lemon rind for my salad. And then I'm going to do the uh, salad dressing oh. in a clear bowl. Ah, don't mix them. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Um, I'd like to repeat the trivia question for my good friend Kenny. Yeah. And I, mu I must say, I can't wait to dance at your wedding. I just want to put that bug <laughs> in your ear. Um, Kenny, where do dogs sweat? Where do they perspire? Okay, I know this one. I do know that. Okay, if I get this, I want a really good wedding gift. <laughs> okay. okay. Not one of the... <laughs> I'll get you a deep fryer. Okay. Okay. I think... It's in the paws. No. No? The pads of their feet. The, oh. pa the pads of their feet. People. <laughs> People. <laughs> the pads of their feet. People. Of their front left foot. You had to be way more specific. 
I'm I, sorry, you were too general. Too general, no prize. If I was on the Price is Right, that would have been... Well, you're not going to get a ring on your finger for that one, baby. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Okay, now I've uh, done Kenny's croutons. I made them extra ones. And I'm going to bake these in the oven at about 375 degrees for about 15 to 20. And then I'm going to get on to my tie me up, tie me down pesto. Oh, don't be scaring me. Why? I shouldn't scare you. <laughs> okay, what I'm mm. going to do is get a clear bowl and I'm going to I'm mix right here together. For you. Okay. Thank you. And, oh, and a fork. Okay, can you get me the food processor? I don't want to bend down. I can't believe You know what? what? It's supposed to be equality in the kitchen here. Okay. Bend down and get me the. I just, I'm not comfortable today. <laughs> now, that seems like a very odd choice to me. Get a rear view of that, Kenny, honey. Black underwear with white shorts. <laughs> Is it something you do at home? Because I'm thinking it's just not a good choice. It's not a good choice. No. Well, I forgot, okay? <laughs> okay. At least I... you're not wearing your florals. Because <laughs> that would be. Oh, and you know what? I think I need a fork in my reamer. Okay. Okay. Excellent. All right. <clears throat> All righty. Yep. Now, um, don't you love coriander? Isn't oh, it the I best? Love coriander. Smell it. How fresh it is. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it a beautiful smell? It is. Some it's people wonderful. are a bit turned off of it, but you got to use it because it's just totally right on. Okay, I, I have a tip here. Do you? I have a lot of friends who don't like coriander. Basil is a nice substitute. Basil is a very good substitute, as well as freshly chopped parsley. Mm. No. Well, I think that texturally it is, uh, but flavor, it doesn't have the same flavor. I think if you want the flavor, yeah. you're looking at basil or coriander, which I'm putting into my tie me up, tie me down pesto. Okay. And I've just put in my fresh herbs, and I'm going to get my olive oil going. So and what you're saying is you don't care if your company doesn't like the fact that there's coriander in it. I'm just that's what you're saying. No. Yeah, that's no, what you're saying. No, I'm just saying there's other alternatives. Mm -hmm. And parsley ain't one of them. <laughs> that's I live a life of other alternatives. <laughs> Kidding. A okay. Complete alternative you lifestyle. Do, don't you? Okay. You've been hiding it so well, sir. <laughs> now, what you can do is the best thing when you wash your spinach. It's a good idea to dry the leaves with paper towel, or even keep them moistened Ooh. in paper towel, or even. Oh my gosh, I'm 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 onto something here. If you're storing basil in your fridge, it's a really good idea to layer it with damp paper towel, basil, right. damp paper towel, basil, right. damp paper towel, basil, damp paper towel. Okay. Can I get onto my salad dressing? What is it? It's oil and vinegar. No, it's canola oil. Half a cup of canola oil. Right. I've used here two tables, three tablespoons of lemon juice. Right. And we have one teaspoon of white wine vinegar, some black pepper, and to give it that extra, huh, honey, kick. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, the shorts went up. <laughs> yuck. <laughs> so yuck. I'm putting in my hoisin sauce. So yuck. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, you know what? They know out there, because I get letters in. That? That you want me. <laughs> Says who? <laughs> they do out there. Some really? people think that out there. Why would I want you? For what? Like to clean my kitchen? <laughs> I don't know. To go shopping with? <laughs> Buy facial products? Be beauty products. <laughs> yeah. For sure I want you for that. Hey, but that's, hey, hey, hey. What? We went shopping. And we did. And I introduced you. To something. To some new beauty products. Yeah. I went shopping with you three times. <laughs> He, he dropped $400 each time on the same skincare products. <laughs> They're working. Well, and then look what you're left with. You should get some hair products. <laughs> don't my you think? My beauty products are working, don't you think? Oh, come on. No, Mary you Jill. know, because you had really bad problem skin last year, like lots of breakouts through here and whatnot oh, in your T zone. I, but you look a lot better this year. You do. I, I agree. That. A thousand dollars can really go a long way on that face. Okay, I'm saving my my lemon rind here. Drop my nuts. To put in the salad. Yes. And I'm putting half of it in my, uh, there we go, in my salad dressing. Oh, excellent. Oh, and I better get on to my crouton salad. This okay. is very important. Now I've got most of my ingredients <coughs> in from my pesto, my nuts, my olive oil, my fresh herbs. But a tip of the day is coming to me because oh. I did use peanuts in my uh, pesto. Right. If you're cooking with peanuts, it's a really good idea to buy unsalted peanuts because you season during and at the end and the salted peanuts could make it, you know, too salty oh. for your taste. Yeah. yeah. Is that a good point? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. 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 Oh, no. Give me get that. Away from me. Give me that. Give that to me. Look, she doesn't even respond. Why would I? <laughs> Why would I respond to this? I mean, come on, you're in velour. <laughs> Dear Ken and Mary Jo, I think you're both great. I watch your show all the time, and when I can, I take the show on my VCR. I'd like to know if you have any books out, cookbooks. If so, where can I get one and how much? 
My name is Michael. Oh, oh, ooh. and I'd like to know what Ken's birth sign is and what yours is, Mary Jo. Uh oh. I love the way that your kitchen is set up. Well, what uh, sign are you? Gemini. Is that of what? Twins? The twins. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh gosh, I could really do a lot with that, but I'm not going to. Guess what sign I am? You are Gemini too, aren't no. you? No. The one before Gemini, what's that? <laughs> I don't know. But what would you think I would be? Uh, a Libra. No. Mm, Aquarius? <laughs> no. No, that's too nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Taurus a bull. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There you go. You're just like my mom. <gasps> what do you mean? She's Taurus the Bull, too. Really? Yeah. Now, over there on the wall, we've got, like, this is what we call our Rogues Gallery of Cookbooks. And we've got Kenny's Island Cookbook, which is yeah. available, the What's for Dinner Cookbook, and then my cookbook, which I wrote with jo Joanna Weinstein, that's coming out in a little while. Okay, so, yeah. enough of the self promotion. Put this, I just promoted your two cookbooks. Put this for on the For once. Page. For <laughs> once. Well, I had nothing better to do. For okay. once. I'm just going to give this a Last oh, year. Can, last you, can year, you get you, my chicken, chicken breast from the fridge? Last year, you kicked my book around the set. I did. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm just going to put my lime juice in, and then I'm going to get my two uh, chicken breasts from the fridge and marinate them a bit and grill them up. Oh, okay. oh gosh, you're scurrying. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. I'm going to chop up my onion, parsley, uh, celery. Oh, this is going to be good. And what's this you're making? I, oh, I'm can making. Can you just fix that for me? No, I just put not, it back in. <laughs> I'm not touching. No, I never have, and I never will be. Okay, I'm not going there. Fine. I'm going to finish up my crouton salad here. All right. Which is the red pepper, celery. Oh, shut up and do it. Ba <laughs> and your croutons are in the oven. And okay. some, you know. Cucumber. What? What, baby? Now, I'm just adding my lime juice to the pesto, and we've got our chicken breast, so we'll marinate those for a bit. Oh, yeah. Grill them up, and Kenny's making two really, Ooh. really nice, good salads. I've been working hard on this show. See you in a minute. I'll I've been carrying it. Carrying it on your slim shoulders. Welcome back to What's for Dinner. I've just taken my chicken breasts off the barbecue with my Tommy Up pesto, and they're magnificent breasts, if I do say so myself. All right, I'm coming in. Kenny K. Yeah. I'm talking to you. I like that. Hi. <laughs> what? You don't even welcome back the viewer. Hi. I said welcome back, viewer. Oh, did you? Yeah. Mm. Why don't you pay attention? Look at how good that looks with my uh, uh, Thai pesto. And it's I'll wonderful. just move this bean salad. And I made extra Thai pesto, and we can have that on grilled vegetables or some fish or chicken tomorrow night, sir. Oh. And I'm uh, slicing up my red pepper for my crouton salad nice and thin. Yeah. And I'm going to add it in, mix it around, and then do the dressing. Now, should I get your croutons? Are you ready Could to you do that, babe? Of course I can. I can't believe I said that. Babe, I'm just going to slice up some lime and put it around my chicken breast because I care about this show. I know you do. I don't know if you know that. Uh, I need what do you this, need, bud? That bowl right there. With all your fresh herbs? Yep. And Ooh, I nice have fresh herbs, Kenny. Yes. And I have my cucumber, my onion, all done up in here. In go the red pepper. Look at my croutons. Pretty nice, eh? And now... Pretty I'm, nice croutons. Now, I'm just going to put that back and do my salad dressing. Okay, baby. And in goes the chopped garlic. Should I put them in here? Thank you. Oh, gosh. Whoa. We really worked together whoa, today, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Here, that. I'm using... What are you doing? <laughs> one <laughs> tablespoon of lemon juice. Have a nice read. Uh -huh. <laughs> Have a nice read. Mm -hmm. At one tablespoon. Four tablespoons of apple juice, because I want you. this to be very low fat. Now, does this go in this bowl right here, like your, your Wine peppers? vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Don't interrupt focus. me. No, but I'm going to put them in here so you can mix it all together. In there. All together there. Yeah. Right. And we do uh, some chili powder, half a teaspoon, and oh. half a teaspoon of Whip black it, powder. Whip it, baby. Whip it. And in it goes. Perfect. Look at that. Do you want me to toss it up for you? I've got do you some, know? I've got some nice tossers here. How many calories you. per serving? This here, 115 calories. Now, Ooh. the bean salad. Yeah. A little bit more. You know why, babe? Beans. I shouldn't say that, should I? You've said it twice this segment. I'm digging it. Uh, Got to be honest with it. you. Yeah. You're digging it. Uh, this here, 250 calories per serving, only because of the beans. They're higher in calories, but you know what? High in fiber. Good in protein. Good for you. Good in protein. You need I, that. I really feel I need to recap. Okay. We have a delicious bean salad. We've got the pesto. We've got these chicken breasts we grilled up in like 12 Whoa, minutes. And look we've got at this. this crouton salad. Doesn't it look yummy today on what's oh, for dinner? Let's clean up a bit. We don't want this to look messy. You know what? I just want to say to you. No. If you need a best man at your wedding, 
You're there. I'm here for you so much. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. Keep writing. Check out the recipes at the end of the show. See you next time on What's for Dinner. Bye. Bye-bye.